So, say for some reason you have to add up all the numbers from 1 to 10. Sure, you could add it using the classic method that you learned in elementary school, but I've got a better idea that'll take way less steps. So first, we're going to draw a triangle. We're going to start with one dot, and then on this, for the second row of our triangle, we're going to put two dots, and then three, and then four, and then so on, and we're going to do ten rows in total. So, finding the area of this triangle is equivalent to counting the dots, but that would take even longer than, what we, than uh, adding. So I've got another trick up my sleeve. So now that we've done that, we're just going to attach a copy of the same triangle to the diagonal edge of that, and that'll give us a rectangle. So we're going to find the area of that rectangle. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dots on the horizontal side, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 dots on the vertical side. And the area is 110. So we want to find the area of half that since we doubled the triangle. So the area of the triangle is 55, and thus our answer is 55. So from this, you can see the general formula for the sum of the numbers from 1 to n is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. Legend has it that the famous mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss, sorry that I butchered that, discovered this while he was in first grade when his teacher gave him the assignment to add the numbers from 1 to 100 as busy work, and he realized this and was the first one to turn it in, because all of his other classmates had to do it too. Anyway, sorry for the lack of long form videos lately, I've just been really tired and had a hard time making videos, but maybe there will be something soon, maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good night. Oh yeah, and I know this video kind of looks like V-Heart, but my drawing tablet just refused to cooperate, so I had to do it on paper. Sorry.